The third problem is a little more complicated than the first two because the first thing we have to do is to pull the data out for the second year, that is year one. Once we have pulled that, those data out, then we can use the sum function. So if we review here, um, when we did the uh, two-dimensional um, slicing, let's just go ahead first and run this cell so that we can generate the sales array. So what we want is for the second year, which is the index number one. So that's gonna be this number, this number, and this number. So what we'll have to do is, um, go ahead and copy that. What we need to do is to use an expression like this because remember this expression, um, let's see, let's run that. This expression uses the anything range to indicate the row, but the two index to indicate the column. So what we want actually is the annual sales array for uh, column one not for column two. So let's just create a new cell here. We can copy this and paste and change this from two to one. Uh, now, rather than printing it, let's assign it to a variable. How about second year sales? And we'll just double check that it worked the way we want. Okay, so yeah, looks like we got the second year sales. Now what we need to do is to perform the sum operation on that. So let's just actually, we can just stick it in here. Print NP sum of the second year sales. Let's see if that works. I think it did. It looks like it's pretty close to what it should be. 